Hi, and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest and the best entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Benny Ak and Nimi Dekombi. Hey, guys. Hi, Elsie. How are you doing? Another day of social distancing. Mm, how are you holding up? I'm surviving. Mm, do you feel some type of way that you have to work with some people are kind of in a yeah, social I'm, distancing yeah, I feel, holiday? I feel, I, feel, I feel very <laughs> unenthused, demotivated, uh -uh. and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Very, pretty much unenthused right now. Mm. Can anything change that? I, I don't know. It depends. I mean, what the offer is on the table. <laughs> really but yeah, my state of mind right now, pretty much unenthused mm. and highly demotivated. You'll be mm. fine. Mm. You'll be fine. All right. The special assistant to the Lagos State Government on Health, Sunday Ajayi, disclosed via his Twitter handle yesterday that six of the coronavirus patients in the state have recovered and will be discharged soon. While reacting to the good news, Victoria Nyama is questioning the whole process. She raised the questions or the following questions. Can these patients be seen? Can they speak for themselves? Are they not allowing phones in, in there to record? She went on to say that it is always reassuring to see than to hear so that people can be sure. And that other countries are televising the process, but Nigeria has only been reported. Yeah. Well, I, can't I think she's, she's making process. valid, um, she's raising valid questions because a lot of people have been asking questions because you look at other countries, you can see their visual representations, either of patients who are taking videos and telling you what they've been through, telling you that this is serious, but I've not seen any Nigerian patient recovered or sick. You've not seen any video. I All we've gotten we've is just reported. We've had discharged so far, right? Yeah, so I feel like and they can come out to tell us what the process was like, what they did, what treatments did they, they were use, given, what treatments they were given, how the isolation center is. We need, apart from the reports that we're getting from the Lagos State Government, we need people's... Maybe they're, you know, they're worried about the state of the isolation center, but right now, I just want to say that I don't care about the state. I just want to know what they give them and what they ate yeah, what they to feel better, you know. I think that's the most important part for us right now. Yeah, you know, it's just the kind of country we live in. Everything is shrouded in secrecy. Things that are meant to be public knowledge get shrouded in secrecy. And we're going to wonder, I mean, is, is the government some kind of court where you have to add it with, um, when it comes to matters of public health like this, it should be transparent and glaring to people what exactly is going on. And up to now, let's still remember, we still don't know the name of the Italian man, the, the very, the very in this case, mm. the cost of all of this happening in the country. We still don't know his name. We don't even, we don't have a, an image to his face. Yeah. And I find that worrisome. And the very first Nigerian who was confirmed to have this thing, his name was quickly thrown out there. It, it's, it leaves a whole lot of, you know, potholes and for you to really doubt mm. what really is going on right here. Uh, well, there's a no name now. We all know the COS to, to the to the president, Abba Kiari, and then some other state governors who are now in isolation. But again, this is a ravaging pandemic globally. Let us know what process. The people in your isolation centers, what exactly are they going through? You know, can we see one of, okay, there are two reported cases that have been declared negative now. Can we see those people? Can they at least have, let them have some kind of, let's have a face to these people. Let them say something to the public. You know, this this will have a way, maybe, you somehow, to take repose, anything, Just a video, a phone and a record. And, yeah, yes. and it would even dispel a lot of rumors repose, because yes. a lot of people think that this whole coronavirus yeah. thing is a hoax. Repose they think that confidence. It's just... Repose confidence in, in the populace, you know. I mean, let's have images from your so-called isolation centers. Let's see what really is going on there. Don't show us entirely everything. Yeah. Just one or two you know, jetty images here and there. It's okay, well, okay, something is really happening. Something is going on. But all we're hearing so far is what the health minister is coming we're out to say this. to us. Yeah, we're we're this money. So. And, and that's just it. So that's they wouldn't enough. blame if there's still some people who hold on to the fact that they're saying, you know what, all of this is just a hoax and, and many people still don't believe it. Yeah, but a lot of people unfortunately, don't. coronavirus, COVID-19 is not a hoax. Just maybe the way our, our government is going about information management and, and the dissemination of this okay, information, information is not just as transparent as it should be. Yeah, I'm talking about isolation centers. This one I saw myself at the Onikon Stadium. They built an isolation center there and I saw the beds there, but I don't think it has been inhabited by anyone. But I'll just say that um, regarding, as regards the isolation center, that is one isolation center that we can see physically. We don't know about, we don't know the situation of the other isolation centers. We don't the know FCC. the situation yeah. of the, because even in Lagos, there are a lot of In the FCC, cases. the minister said that they are using some hotels as well for, they are ready, they're keeping it ready. I think 60 beds, 100 beds or something. So they have about 100 and something and beds. of this. 
hotels? Are there images the question, of these right? beds? Okay. Well, we have more questions, and this time around is coming from Yemi Alade. Um, the Nigerian singer is questioning the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, and the Senate. Her question is pretty simple. What is the economy stimulus package for the citizens of this country, as you say, all should stay at home. Very critical. You know, I mean, we've seen nations, other nations of the world come out of state exactly how they intend to support, you know, their citizens in the, um, in the ongoing ravaging coronavirus. But um, not so much has been heard from our government besides the fact that I did, but did say something that they said they were going to give like how much? 18,000? That, that was, no, was not the government that said was, so. Okay. Okay. was well, there. Posing you know, and so the not, not so much about that has been said. And I know I said this morning in the news, um, the, the president of the Senate has well urged the president um, of the Federal Republic, you know, that something has got to be done to, to cushion the effect of this stay at home order. If eventually there's a shutdown of the economy, they can't just send people, I mean, to stay back at home. And there are many Nigerians who live from hand to mouth daily. They make their livelihood from daily sales, what it is they can get from um, their going out. And so if they are not able to do that, how do they feed? How do they sustain their livelihood? And so the government needs to be more proactive than what it is they're doing currently. And in my own humble opinion, do I think the federal government is doing much that it should right now? No, I don't think so. I think we have, we have a state that represents like the entire nation right now called Lagos State, where we see the governor, the executive governor, His Excellency Baba Jide Saunlu, doing so much about this and ensuring that, you know what, they curtail the virus and making sure people don't get to suffer as a result of this. But not so much from our dear president, not so it's, much from the federal it's, government. It's, and it's worrisome. It's self-isolating you know. because Abba like we know, um, has the coronavirus mm -hmm. and we've seen, I don't know if this is really confirmed, but he's coughing and all that. So yeah, he so needs to self-isolate, you know, to Yeah, really, he needs to, to self-isolate, but that doesn't stop him from at any of the asking, you know, that, hey, I mean, some kind of stimulus um, be put out there to mm. help people at this point in time. It's just for how many weeks, maybe mm. less than a month. Let's not forget the month. bill that was passed, you know? though, for, um, to help entrepreneurs. I think something that has to do with if you can maintain your... Um, your employees, like paying them for the year, then you get, I think, um, is it 50% back on your tax or something? I don't know what that entails, but yeah, that has been passed. And yeah. I hope why, that they do. Why not pay directly the, the employee? Why not pay? Why, why go through the employer? At the end of the day, you know, I, I just feel somehow we're a country that have misplaced a whole lot of misplaced priorities. We, we focus so much on minors and we minor on, on we focus on, and we major on our minors and we, we minor on our majors. And mm. look at what other nations what are doing to make sure their citizens don't get a swap for this. But it, nothing, my dear country is saying nothing. So Yemi Alade's questions are very valid. Yeah, it yeah. is. And we need, we need answers. I think for me, it just reiterates what we have always said, that the Nigerian government doesn't really care about its people. Because if they really cared about, you know, the nation, I think that right now they should start having that conversation within themselves. What are we going to do for our people as regards this coronavirus? pandemic because other um other countries other big countries they've been working out how they can give you know their and these countries are rich and some of their citizens are well to do but they are still thinking of ways that they can still help them during this period not to talk of a country where you have a huge percent of your population that are very very poor so i feel like they should start having this conversation but again I mean, it just I shows students, us that if i'm not a student our co-anchor who went to um dublin for her masters mm -hmm. on communication says she's been 350 dollars weekly already and she's not a citizen you know she's so just a what student. is what is our country doing for the nigerian citizens do we matter at all to them mm -hmm. so i think our question is valid and i hope that in the coming weeks we would hear something positive days or weeks this. Again, you know, not not to not to totally um, uh, what's it called now negates the 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 effort of maybe whatever the federal government is trying to do, but it's just so much of silence on things that should be that should be getting a lot of um, that it should they should be loud and we're not we're not getting those kind of response from them and it makes you question if really these people care about us is it are they overwhelmed are they saying they don't know what exactly to do when because, are they not because we're think, not they, because we're still not no. as ravaged as, as Italy and China. We just, as I said, now it's still less than 100 um, confirmed, confirmed cases. And they're tracing yeah, about 4,000 know, 4, plus. 4,000 plus. They're still plus. tracing. It's the, the, whole, um, the whole coronavirus is bigger than can we a at lot least, of people Can we at know. least just for once just do something right? And in this instance, do something right for with me, this For me, I feel pandemic. like it's just negligence you know. on the part of our leaders. Because I still read um, a report that they are discussing how they are going to distribute the exotic cars that just came into the yeah, country. Their, so I'm like, yeah. their well, priorities are already, not... They already bought the cars, so they should distribute <laughs> it. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, there will be more to discuss.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Away from coronavirus and on a lighter note, a Twitter user is saying, never marry a girl raised by a single mom. You will live to regret it. I think for me, one of the disadvantages of social media is that it gives so many people a platform so they feel like Not they can so just say gives anything. Idiots. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, I didn't want to go too far and call her an idiot, but it gives so many people that are probably not okay in the head. It gives them a platform. What she said is absolute And it's even more nonsense. annoying that some media platforms use their use their space to illuminate this stupidity yes. just because they want to create engagement on their platforms. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see the sense in what she said because there could be different reasons why you become a single mother. What if your spouse died? Mm. So if you did not get married and you raised your child, that child is going to be problematic. I think, once again, it still boils down to this ideal that people have created in their heads when it comes to family and what family should look like. It's like, you should have a father, you should have a mother and then the children. But then the truth is not every family is going to follow that dynamic. And if a family does not follow that, di that dynamic, it doesn't mean there's going to be something wrong with the children. There could be other people in the child's life that would be a father figure you mm -hmm. know, to the child. So this idea, I don't agree with it. I, it doesn't make any it sense. Like There's Benny has something else. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have, be going yeah. up and down. <laughs> I have a, div a divergent opinion to what both okay. of you are saying, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'll just try to maybe elucidate more on what she was trying to say that she didn't really get to say. Okay. You know, um, you know, she said, "Don't trust, don't marry a, a, a lady that was raised by a, a single, single mom." Mother. Now. That there's an angle we're looking at it from. That you will live to regret it. That you live to regret it. Now, mm. there, there could be an angle she's taking it from. It could be um, a woman who was divorced and maybe it was, it was a bad split. Mm -hmm. but whether you like it or not, she's going to constantly have, um, that's what they call in psychology right now, cognitive bias to constantly make that girl perceive a father as a bad person. It's not always like that. No, it's no, not hold on, hold always on, like that. No, 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 it happens. No, no, so I, have, like I, have, I have cases to cite on this. All right. Just because me and, me, me and her, we fell out and she, I, I normally say women own children, whether anybody likes it or not, right? And so there's every possibility she will want to infuse a cognitive bias in those kids to see the man as a bad man. And so for the daughter um, who has been poisoned to think, you know what, depending on what level of things she says about her dad to her, she'll grow up viewing men differently. I'm so saying, what about people who are raised on, by both wait, parents, hold on, but hold they are on. not together? Let me, can I finish? I'll land. I'm going to balance this statement. All right. So there's every possibility that girl will grow up not thinking of men in a very rational way, but subjective from the judgment and submissions of her mom. It's possibility is happening. We've seen okay. it several years. And then again, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I've seen, unfortunately, again, I've seen, you know, like you said, the ideal family is, is I was raised in an ideal family, a father, mother, and my brothers, right? Mm -hmm. That's an ideal family. But somewhere along the way, things might happen, life might happen. There could be a ton, twists of events. I mean, one, one parent might have to leave or maybe one parent died. It's not always a mom. It could be a father. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a different case. Now, I've seen a mom raise two fantastic, great, responsible men mm -hmm. into society. That's a different case. So I don't totally just want to discard what she said and say, you know what, it's, it's uh, nice, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it might sound so a little bit... So you yeah. right... You're saying if a single father raises a child, yes. it's the, the possibility of the child being toxic. It could go either ways. No, that's that's what you actually. It could go say. either ways. It's 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 reduced than when no, it's a woman. No, 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 and then no, no, when no, no, they no, no, that no, no, is no, no, again. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Okay, no, you're taking me out of context. No, no. You also that said sweet. you have to correct it too. You also yeah. said that if a In single case, mother raises a son. Raising there won't be a problem. No. But once it's a daughter, it's a problem. I spoke in relation to her using 
a single mom. Mm. It could be a single father also. Okay, so, so everything we are saying, yeah. uh, if, either, either if you want to start putting examples to it, you will definitely find something somewhere or somebody somewhere that fits whatever you're describing. Yes. However, I want to say that it is not limited to single parents only because I have seen yes. children or adults that came out of the ideal, ideal family, family and, and still have, have biases the most against huge men. mindset so, and biases I, I, I totally agree. against it's, men it's not totally and women. Listen, you were raised by a single parent. No, this or is not. it, guys. There are dynamics. There are dynamics to every family. It's about being a good parent. Yeah, there are dynamics in every family. There are dysfunction in every family. You can still have your mother and your dad, and depending and on how you see, yeah. Let's and be dysfunctional. Let's be. And I'm sorry, I have is. a few friends who were raised by both father and mother, mm -hmm. and you know, the children are skewed in their thoughts towards one parent than the other. Is a, is a dysfunction in family, mm -hmm. but is the propensity higher when it's a single parent? It is not. Yes, I don't think it's so. Not. Yes, it is. It yes, is it not. Is. I, no, don't I agree. It I don't is. think so. I don't think so. I don't. I don't want to. That's, that. that's my humble I think for you know me, me, it still depends because there are people who are still married together and they don't like each other. It would be that better if they are divorced. And right. then those children who are raised in that kind of family would still have a bias against one parent or the other based on what either parent it's says a to them. It's a higher propensity when it's just a single parent. It is not. It, it take a whole lot of I understand what you're saying, effort. but based yes, on I mean, the environment where we are, where most marriages, I still stand to be corrected, but then I'm standing on what I said. Elsa, most marriages are still together because they don't want, it's not necessarily because there's love. Because, or there's because unity. they don't want the stigma. Because they don't want the stigma, we must stay married and we have to stay married because marriage is from God, it is ordained for better for worse. So everybody's in that toxic space picking and giving no, whatever what negativity they had within that them. If I had to grow because up in that that kind of, of that, there's even more okay, possibility of having that kind Knowing of Knowing that your parents are together there. simply because they are afraid of your divorce. Not because they love each other, but they are just they are just staying together just for... Well, I was just trying for the that generalization. Of the I don't My problem with the generalization is yes. that there it is already sense. a lot of stigma Some. attached to, to being a, single, being a single mother. And that is something we are trying to say, you know what? In fact, yeah, being a single parent, but when it comes to being a single mother, it's, it's even it's more, it's more. So we're trying to say that is not right. So coming out to put a statement a, like a this statement like is this. a it's problem. Very, I, For I me, if I want to take point. it personally, there are so many other layers I want to take it from, but I don't want to go that personal. Well, I don't want to discard. this corona I, I time, to totally discard you know, comment, I totally discard that comment. It doesn't make any fine. sense. If you that's want fine. to, if you want don't to make that kind like of, that. if you want to make that kind of comment, they come from a place of education. Don't it's come and make. It's just like when you say men as calm. Hello, are you coming from a place of education? Benny, yeah, that's that Benny. Is, that oh, oh, that's is, a different kettle of fish. No, oh, I see. Benny. Interesting. Benny. It's that like feminism it's, it's right very now. Different. No, oh Benny. my God, we can expand, not we can expand this table. Don't like, expand it. We can expand this Benny, table. Like, we have a lot of angry, bitter women all, all under the covering of feminism who are angry with the men who have done them wrong in their life. So now, relate, under the covering relate of that. feminism. Relate that it's still, to this. It's still the same thing. How is it the same? I mean, she's, she could be divorced. from a, it, it, it was a bad split. Did you, a do you understand bias. our tweet? You said marry a woman raised by a single don't, mother said don't, and you will don't. regret it. Basically, it don't, don't marry. marry. Yes. So where exactly, Benny. what correlation does it have with feminism or men as scum? Well, what I just, correlation? I just, you just said, Benny you is said generalization. Right now. He's I being mean, scum. You said you're being scum, scum right now. Elsa said generalization. So if she, she could, you try, you're trying to discard her totally. I'm saying, is it a possibility? Does it happen? Yes. It doesn't mean it's every single, every single mom. No. And I'm saying that it is not just restricted to single parents, you know, single mothers, anybody, a single father. Yes, 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 yes Nimi. Exactly. Yes, Nimi. But it's but, a propensity higher with single parents. And I'm parenting. saying yes. her submission is driving the stigmatization we are trying to push away. Mm. Submission should be discarded. So it should be. As like the judge has said. <laughs> Moving on, Ghanaian celebrity Yvonne Nelson shares a post which seems um, like a sub to celebrities who have been donating to the poor and then um, publicizing it. She said, and I quote, please donate to the poor, needy, widows, orphans. Um, don't let an eye see it when you do. God in heaven sees it. This is how God our Father in heaven blesses. Most churches, pastors will use your money for their luxurious lifestyle. God sees and knows our hearts. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you can read a tweet and you can take it from two different perspectives. When I okay. read this tweet, mm -hmm. at first, I didn't think she was sobbing anybody. I didn't mm. think she was sobbing any celebrity. I think what she was saying was that she was referring to people in general, that they should not use this period to give their tithes and offerings to their pastors who would use it to live their lux luxurious lifestyles. Mm. Instead, they should give it to the needy and the poor. If that's what she's saying, it's amazing how the celebrities cannot be articulated. But saying. okay, continue. 
Yeah, I think I, I want to believe that that is a point because if mm. she's saying that celebrities should not should not give and publicize, it doesn't make any sense because they are Why? celebrities. If they give, it will be publicized, whether they keep quiet about it or who, not. Who does the publicity for them? I have a problem with that. I've always had a problem with it. Going to help the poor and taking cameras with me, taking my phones with me. What's the essence? What am I? It's all for, for clout. Some people, I don't no, think no, no, it no, no. is for clout. I, I told, I'm on. totally. It is for clout. <sighs> I totally disagree. We're going to help the needy go into places where you know people are underprivileged and taking any form of cameras with me. And that is why there's somebody, I mean, yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of I me mean, talking about the ills of our times in religion. But every time you need to go to help the poor, can you keep your cameras away? Like, what is the point? Well, hold up, hold up. Your except, away. What, what if somebody it? else takes Do your you picture? run a foundation? Except you tell me you run a foundation and you want you want a collation of what it is you've done so people can come every time to support you. Then I might agree with you taking your cameras with you. But just imagine me as a single individual now, getting on Freedom Way in Lekki One. I want to help those destitute on the street, maybe share them food. And then I'm, I'm having it being recorded. Personally the, what, for hold me. Hold up, hold up, darling. Okay. Let me let me lie. Yeah, no, no. All right. What's the input of that? To let people to, to, to draw attention to me, you know, that I'm doing something noble, feeding the destitute on our streets. Then after them, what's next? Are the destitute fed? That is the most important thing. Personally, for me, I don't care if you're doing it for public for, for Oh, I do <clears> care a lot. For publicity, I don't care if you're doing it for your good image. The most important thing is that the people who are poor and needy in this time, especially because of the coronavirus time, and because there have been several out, so celebrities. For me, yeah. There have been several celebrities who are helping people. I want to help them out of that. I don't think it's a problem if they publicize it. I don't, for me, it for, is. I, I don't even want to know whether it's a problem or it's not a problem. And even Nelson, I think sometimes she talks too much or she talks the things that she's not supposed to do and gets herself involved in. She just gets involved and it's not necessary. However, um, it's the blogger side that trying to relate what she's doing to celebrities. She just made her own post. Nobody she knows where post. she's coming from. Yeah. So because of that, I'm going to look at the situation on the ground now. I remember we on this table mentioned Ron Town sharing money. We mentioned Don Jazzy sharing money. We mentioned a few other people online have been sharing money. However, I feel like, I hope if any one of them will get to see this video, if they're watching, I think what they're doing right now is not what we need. Because <laughs> exactly. if people have money to come online to buy data, I think they will be fine to a certain exactly. extent. Thank you very much, Elsie. If you have Ray. 10 million naira right now... No, it's, a, it's a million naira. No, no, no. Somebody said 10 million. No, get 10, wrong time was 10 no, wrong million. No, wrong time was 1 million. Was it? Was, one, one was 10 naira. million? No, 1 million. 1 million. Okay, million. please, let's confirm, confirm that. Um, million, our producer will confirm I mean, that, but it's 10 million. Um, uh, what's his name again? Um, this guy also... Sorry? It's, it's 10, 10 million. million. Oh, okay. So if you have 10 million, right, and you can do what, as, at least I see what the platform like Olori Spagel is doing, where they bring um, um, sanitizers, detol, every disinfectant people use, put it in parks, and go to the people who need it. Yeah, there are people if who are doing that. If we have 10 million naira to do the that and IDPs, take it to the rural people, the IDPs, the IDPs who right really now. need it, not, how many, how many percentage of our population do we even have on Twitter and Instagram? Okay. Right? I, so if they can that. do that and actually do something good, get their team together, package these things, and take it to the people that need it, then it will seem like they're doing something. But right now, with this coronavirus situation, I feel like everybody's just trying to maintain their interactions and on, celebrity on their social status, media, exactly. I mean, on their social I'm media, just to show that different. they're giving something. That's but where I what was he was saying is going to people, to poor people. To the needy. Giving that's, them, what she, that's what she that's said. That's what I'm taking it from yes. another And I'm saying that there are people who have yeah. actually done that. For instance, I read that Tony Abraham went to the people People that are poor, she gave them hand sanitizer and she gave them food. I don't think that, that if even if she took pictures, I don't think that that is a problem because if she took pictures or not, if that helps our publicity yeah, I'm, I'm or yet, good I'm image, yet or to not, see the that, poor but people get that. Then I hope that said, other people can help, 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 help our publicity for what? I'm just publicity. saying, you were, you were saying that most of them do it for publicity or for yes. clouds, and I'm saying that it's not if, necessary, it's not needed. Whether they did it for clout or not, the people that needed this those things. Okay, you are saying have whether for clout or not, yes. they're still reaching out to help people. They're reaching out, they're helping people. And there are people, they should, they and people that are not doing it's anything. Not, so at this stage, no, if Tony Abraham have started the something like this. There are people doing stuff you don't know about because they're not taking cameras with them. And if you there don't are, know, you don't there know. are millions of people doing it, but yes. you just don't know but because exactly they're not doing it for the cameras. Now, our celebrities are doing this just for the cameras to be seen to be doing it. Okay, so I'm saying if Tony Abraham has done that, because I'm yet to see it, but since you said yeah. she has done it, I'm hoping that other celebrities, now that they've seen it, will take a cue from that and do the right thing and not just sit down 
and transferring money online. I think people online. even publicize these things in the first place to get people to, to start the right to thing. stand up and start doing okay. the right no, thing. I think that's how I wrap up this episode of not Tea Time. Man. Thank you for watching, and you can catch up on this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors Nimide Kombi and Beniak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.